What's it like to drive an Audi RS3? It's actually pretty cool because it has two different levels per se. It gets great mileage. So when you're just driving around regularly, it's a great car to drive every day. And then you put it in dynamic mode, the flaps open up. It sounds like a weird Lamborghini-ish growl to it. It is very unique because the five cylinder turbo engine and, and the way the exhaust is set up is, it makes you just want to go a little faster and rev it a little bit higher. So passing break-in was tough without revving much and you know, it felt like it had a lot in it, but you were kind of holding back because you want to follow what the manufacturer says. So I finally broke it in. We're at mm, 1,300 miles now, and um, I get to really enjoy it. Now, I took, I might, I might have taken the kids for a ride and just give them a little, you know, zero to 70 on the highway. I came to a stop and I floored it, and the kids were like, what's happening? They'd never experienced speed before. And I remember when I was younger, my first time going fast in a car, whether it was a, a real Shelby Cobra. Uh, I remember I was 14 and my, my cousin took me for a ride in, a, it was 1996, in a 96 Turbo S 911. And yeah, he went 185 miles an hour on the highway. I will never forget that. That was the first time I was like, I really need to get a better job than McDonald's because I need to get one of these. So that's really what got me into speed, per se. But anyway, getting back to the RS3. The RS3 is a fun, compact car that you can drive every day that gets good mileage, that has all-wheel drive, sort of. It is strange how it works. It's mostly front-wheel drive, and then it adds in the rear wheels when you need it. It's front wheel drive with flare, as I say. More flare than an Applebee's waiter, that's right. I'm trying to make this look so graceful, you know? So this is the Audi RS3, it's a 2019. And uh, some of my favorite things about this car, well, look at these big ass brake calipers. These things are huge, it's got two piece rotors. I tried to actually put a set of Cosmos racing wheels on here and I couldn't because the brake calipers are so big, they wouldn't clear anything that we make. Uh, another thing that I really like about this car is going to be the intercoolers in the front. So it's got a big front mount intercooler. It's right in the grill here. It's aggressive, but it's also not, you know, over the top. You can't really tell that it's there, but if you look for it and you know about the car, it's there. They have the LED headlights. LED headlights are really nice at night. You know, this car itself is very subtle. It's subtle in the way that, you know, it runs a 12 and a quarter mile, zero 60 in just under four seconds. Uh, it's really understated. It's not as bold or over the top as some other cars. You can see some of the coolers right in these vents here. Now, they have some weird quirks, like the front wheels are wider than the rear. It's strange. I mean, you can tell, I've never seen a tire in the fa from, come from the factory like this, and it's literally like stretched from the factory. It really looks kind of weird. Yeah. So you got a 255 in the front, a 235 in the rear, very front wheel drive-esque. And from the factory, they have this weird plastic guard here that is mandated on these. That looks kind of stupid, doesn't it? It's just a piece of plastic hanging off. Sound of this car, is really why anyone would want to buy a five cylinder. There's very few five cylinders on the market, but Audi is known for it. They've got the racing heritage for it and they do it extremely well. This is about 400 horsepower out of a five cylinder turbo. And there are guys putting built engines in these, IRAs, uh, turbo kits with Exona rotors. We sell the Exona rotors for the Subarus. And uh, I mean, these guys are making a thousand horsepower, you know, there's only a couple hundred per year imported. Why didn't I get a Subaru? So uh, I've been in business almost 15 years. I actually started with Subarus. I've modded quite a few of my own Subarus uh, and I've helped with tens of thousands of customer Subarus. The WRX is a good engine, the 15 plus, the two liter. Those are pretty, it's pretty nice to see what's coming out. Tuners are really turning up. But again, the WRX is more of a car that you can mod. We got companies like I Build Race Cars, Force Performance, ETS. These guys are really taking that platform to the next level. And I love being a part of it. And just kind of at the point where I can't drive manual every day. You guys can't see it, but I actually wear knee braces every day. And uh, my knees are kind of messed up. So I have to drive something that doesn't 
tax me per se. I can't do the bumper to bumper traffic. I used to be able to with the twin disc clutches and the crazy stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much driving automatic ish cars, D DCT, DSG, or I mean my Raptor is an automatic 10 speed. Oh, well, let me show you inside my German Econo box here. So you're going to notice it's got suede and leather everywhere. The uh, gauge cluster is really cool in this car. It does a 3D map. Um, you've got enough room in the back for midgets like my seven year old. I actually, we did put adults in here and they do fit. You've got a really fat steering wheel. You know, one of the drawbacks of having these paddle shifters here and it's attached to the steering wheel is when you're turning and you want to downshift or upshift, you're not, your hands are just not at the right place. Uh, I liked in the GTR when they had it fixed to the column. So you're turning and then you can hit the up or down, whatever you need to do uh, in more of a stressful situation. So that's another drawback. I really like the leather in this. It's a great quality leather. I don't even know if I popped the hood on this before, maybe once. So one of the really unique parts of, of this car is, well, it's right here. Boom. So it's a five cylinder turbo all wheel drive and it's a little dirty. Maybe, you know, I didn't doctor any of this up. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for Subaru to really come up with something that is more exciting because although this, yes, I know it's really just a Volkswagen Jetta with a lot of flash, a lot of flair. And you can make fun of me for being a VW driver. And I could be the cutest girl in the world driving this, you know, Barbie car, whatever it is, but that's okay. I don't really care. Cause when you floor it and you hear the sound of this turbo engine, it, it makes up really for all of it. So I kind of fallen out of driving fast cars for a while. I was driving more economy type cars, a little Mercedes C300, I had my Ram, got a bunch of kids doing the dad thing. And I decided I wanted to go back and, you know, have fun every day. I have a 40 minute drive every day. The RS3 was, was more for me because it was family oriented. It was a car that you could put kids in the back and I do, and, uh, everyone's comfortable. So, you know, that's why I picked the RS3. I'm going to try it out for a little bit and then we'll, uh, you know, play with something else. Let's get back to the office. All right. I just figured I'd interrupt you for the 75th time today. Look, he's smiling. He's always smiling. He doesn't really talk a lot. That's because I'm here. Oh. Hmm. I feel like I'm interrupting something. I just want to be left alone. That's why this is here. This is the door. You need to load. Hmm. Okay, well, top secret conversation going on here, but we'll have to check back with them later. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How was today? It was great. How was, a lot of support. How was the support? It was great. It was a lot of support? Yeah, still no RevWorks engines. Still no RevWorks engines, huh? You know, we sent the labels, and I said, we're going to get two. Two a month, whether we like it or not. Two. For the 2,000 engines a month that blow up. Yeah. Oh, are you on the phone? Oh, let's interrupt him. Yeah, he's on the phone. With a customer or a wholesaler? Uh, both. He's on the phone with a customer and a wholesaler. Let's see what he's looking at. It's actually car parts this time, not cars. Car, car parts? Mine. Oh, wow, this is really boring. You <laughs> yeah. know, you could buy factory parts from Dane. You could buy a lot of car parts from Dane. And it'd, I, it'd be great if the suppliers would answer their phone, but that doesn't always happen, so. Yeah, so it's not always us being slow because we're actually really fast. It's just sometimes very hard to get in touch with the people that supply you. Mmm, not everyone works as hard as us. It's a Point kill. noted. And buzzkill. actually, people were asking where Steven was. And Steven does, in fact, work here, but not actually here. 
He works remotely. So Steven is a member of the team per se, but he's not actually here. So we're gonna have to have Steven come down and do a couple skits with him. He really likes eating Italian food because he's big in Italian, that's his thing. So maybe we'll have a, an all you can eat food contest Q&A where I'll lose because he's better than me at that. But you know, here we are. What do you got there, buddy? All of it. Oh, the clutches. <laughs> yeah. So these clutches weigh like four times more than Damien. But man, he just powers on. Stop it. <laughs> Damien, how many pairs of shorts do you have? I got two. You got two? What size, what size shorts do you wear? I don't know. What size waist? I don't know. Zero. <laughs> so I do inventory here. I check everything in, put it on the shelf in its proper location. I also help package and ship everything out. I drive a Subaru. What's up, ladies? We're gonna have to get him some shorts. I have to go short shopping for him. I did something kind of cool. Uh, Amanda's rear tire was flat, and I bought her two new tires for her car. And something that actually just happened to her son, which is bad, but he's, yeah, he's gonna be all right. So I gave her my truck, she went and got them. Uh, I'm having Josue change out her tires because I don't think it's right to have, you know, important people that work with you on really sketchy tires. So I am making sure she gets to work safely. Now the rest of the car, yeah, I don't know. But, but the tires are good, they're gonna be good. Josue is hooking it up. Whether it's a premium Mountain Balance or it's our own employees vehicles. Postway does an amazing job. Oh, I wish you could smell that. It smells like there's about to be an explosion here. Postway is actually a master in explosions. I've seen some real fire coming off these turntables here. He's like a, he's like a DJ for wheels, really. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Yep. Yep. You catch him in the club. Car parts club. Moving weight, son. Mm-hmm. So, I just like to, you know, have fun with everyone here. I like the work environment to be fun. I hate yelling at people. I don't actually yell at people. There's other people that do that. That's not really me. Huh, Type R exhaust. Huh, ISR 370 exhaust. Ooh, NVIDIA. So I'm just looking at all the new car parts here. More NVIDIA. We didn't need, we had a meeting about SEMA and I wasn't even really included in that today. What, what do you want me to tell you again about SEMA? Tell you again about SEMA, okay. SEMA is the largest car event in the United States. Anything there, everything is aftermarket. Uh, builds, wheels, suspensions, all types of crazy stuff. Why do we go? We go because it's the easiest and fastest way to get in touch with new potential dealers and potential customers so we can get our products into their hands. What I'm expecting from the event, I'm expecting it to be crazy, chaotic, which is, I know, same exact thing. Uh, and I'm expecting Josh to blow something up while we're out there. Josh loves to blow stuff up. We'll be in the desert, and there's plenty of guns for him to play with. So that's what I think uh, SEMA's gonna be like and why we go. The meeting goes like this. Hey, you have two booths in the main hall. Awesome, exciting. It's gonna cost you like more than your car by a lot. Not exciting. Uh, you're gonna potentially gain a lot of business. Very exciting. Uh, when I know more about SEMA, I'll let you know. Maybe we're gonna have to work up a contest where like some of our fans can fly in and get the behind the scenes tour of SEMA with us. That's something I've always wanted to do. Another thing I wanted to do is run over Michael's Previa with a monster truck. That's my dream. When this channel gets up and going and you guys are subscribing to this thing, I'm gonna start doing some really crazy things. So uh, Mariah pointed out something very interesting today. I was first complimenting her on her hair because it looks very nice now. But in her cubicle, in some creepy weird way, look at this dead Mr. artwork that we have here. Now look at her and now look at this wheel that's on the floor. Can you put that all together? Do you know it's gonna go down right now? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have to recreate the original, yes. With more clothes with more clothes, <laughs> unless you are friends with her on Facebook or subscribe to her Instagram or any of that stuff. Yeah, that Snapchat premium. Yeah, we gotta make sure, <laughs> you gotta make sure to keep that inbox really, well, I don't think it could be any worse than it is now. 
No, okay. So, so yeah, you just, I can't wait to show you the video and the picture and the everything else that's gonna come from this. Oh, we have some slap art of it too. Subscribe, like it, get creepy with us. Great. Hey, thanks. This was good. This is a lot better than last I did time. It. Yeah. Awesome. Hmm. Not one tear. Not one tear. <laughs>so I was thinking about SEMA and all the things we're going to have you got a plan yet? no no plan? no plans it's not in your mouth put it, do you want me to put it in my mouth? I want oh you god. to put it in your mouth oh my god that sounds awful <laughs> <laughs> Michael put it in your mouth don't make me tell Amanda it's in? Uh -huh. Okay, it's fully- it's fully inserted. So, uh, we were talking about SEMA. Yeah. Oh, Allison, you gonna join in on this one? What are you doing? Oh, hold on, I gotta- Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> we were talking about SEMA where we're staying. Uh -huh. And I'm hanging out with Creepy Mike over here and he's- he's, you know, he's the real man behind the operations here. I just carry your weird microphone looking thing. You know, he's he's really you wanna know where your order is, don't contact him. You wanna know where your order is, you contact someone else. Yeah. But if you wanna know what goes on here, well you just ask this guy because I don't know. I know nothing. He doesn't know anything. He orders a lot of wheels, like containers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He talks to people overseas. Yeah, it's a good interview. It's quality. Mm-hmm. So now that Wow. It's like Boy Meets World, and it's like our neighbor Wilson over here. That's what she looks like. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so get up on YouTube. Get up on Instagram. Get up on that weird thing. Uh, what is that? Uh, it's not Yelp. Twi oh, Twitter. Yeah, people use Twitter. I still don't know how to use it, but get on there and import image racing. Hashtag, I like to say pound because I'm old. I'm like, pound, import image racing. Pound, Cosmos racing. Okay, hipsters, hashtag Cosmos Racing. I'm so old, I was before hashtags, right? Um, Cosmos Racing Wheels, YouTube, I'm sweating, you're sweating. Let's do this, let's sweat together. Let's enjoy car parts together, let's have some laughs together. Import Image Racing, I'm out.